hey, let's talk about this guy real quick. Uh, sorry. I mean, this guy. Nope. Nah, that's not right either. Well, one more here. I apologize. Uh, this guy. Uh, still not quite right. Um, this guy? There we go. That's more like it. Let's talk about this guy. Everyone's favorite, iconic, legendary serial killer star of Damien Leone's Sistine Chapel that is Terrifier 3, the one, the only, Art the Clown. You know, he's been just gracing our cinemas for decades just never change, just always bring it home with these classic, iconic, legendary film performances. Oh wait, he's been around for like five years. That's right, I am not the all-being huge, glorious fan or whatever you want to call it of Art the Clown and his masterful performance that he puts on screen every time we're graced with another Terrifier film. I am not one of the people that thinks that Terrifier 3 is going to be some sort of legendary masterpiece. I'm also one of the people that is going to argue that Art the Clown is not a horror icon. He's not legendary status, but let me explain a little bit. Let me talk a little bit about some of the history real quick of Art the Clown and just briefly discuss some of the things that he does that makes him iconic. So every time I do a reaction to a Terrifier trailer or Terrifier 3 trailer, I have said each time, oh, this is like the third movie or fourth movie. And I keep like forgetting. I'm like, how many movies has he been in? How many movies has Art the Clown been in? So let's talk about how many appearances Art the Clown has made on screen since Dam Damien Leone or Damien Leone, however you say it, created this character in, I believe, 2009 was his first appearance. And what was that film? Terrifier? Was it a short film? Was it the feature length film? No, it was a short film called The Ninth Circle. This was the original creation of the character of Art the Clown, and he looked as we saw, quite different back then. Now, I think the idea of Art the Clown it was a very cool conceptual idea. I think a lot of the pieces that make up Art the Clown's character and personality were there in the beginning. Although I haven't actually seen the short film, I've seen pieces of it. And I think elements actually work a little bit better. Some elements work a little better in that short film. Maybe Art the Clown was built for a short film. And yes, I'm very aware of that. You're probably going to disagree with most of what I'm saying. But that being said, I'm going to keep saying it anyway. Then after that, Art the Clown appeared in a, another short film. That one was called Terrifier. And that was in 2011. Now that was the first film called Terrifier, which of course led to the feature length film. But this was his second appearance. Now, just bear with me for a second. Don't you think, like, that's a little bit crazy. I think it's a little bit wild to have a feature-length film, like, franchise at this point that is based off a second film called Terrifier. I mean, how many times do you get a chance to craft an iconic killer? And that, I understand why... You know, we keep seeing Terrifier and he keeps putting pushing Art, Art the Clown to the point that he finally broke through and is making tons of money and we've got this franchise. But he had to make an Art the Clown film how many times? I mean, it's just wild to me that it's actually the second short film that we get the title of the feature-length films after. After that, he Art the Clown appeared in a, another short film called All Hallows Eve. Now, this was a, a segment film actually it's broken up of multiple pieces and so it's got terrifier and um the first film was ninth circle in there as well as another film that kind of creates what all hallows eve so it's technically like a compilation of short films but still a third appearance for art the clown now we've got 
Some people fight for years to make a film and get people to see it. And they grind and they grind and they grind and they grind. You know, good for Damien Leone for like grinding and grinding to try to make a film that people are going to see. Like all mad respect for him for that. But like, now this is already three appearances and we haven't even got to the future length film yet. How can we like, I feel like sometimes I'm just like, come on, let's do something new. Obviously I'm wrong here. And people think that Art the Clown is iconic and we needed him to keep pushing him. But then we get the feature length film debut, which is Terrifier. And we finally get Art the Clown in a feature film and see all that he can do in the runtime of a, of a full length film to which I do not like that film. I think that it's barely a movie. I see where there's elements that people enjoy, but the film itself is just barely a movie. But this is the fourth time on screen fourth time and i just i want to like keep repeating that because don't you think that four times is enough to at least nail down a little bit of the character and a little bit of like the plot to make somewhat of a cohesive storyline now listen i've made four or five short films and none of them are anywhere as good as the terrifier feature length film i'm not saying that you can't make multiple short films and learn and hone your craft but I just feel like we see this iconic killer in four different films, whether it being short or feature length film before he gets kind of good. And then that finally garners some success after years of making things. And we get Terrifier 2, which is his breakout big film. The one that's, of course, garnered this franchise now, made a ton of money. And I think a lot of people thought, hey, Terrifier 2, okay, it's a sequel. And so second time on screen, you know, that's when he really honed his craft. And yeah, there's flaws. And like, well, we can, we can ignore some of the flaws because it's his sophomore film. But no, this is the fifth time seeing him on screen. This is the fifth time Art the Clown has been in a film. So some of the grievances and some of the issues with the plot, the terrible dialogue, and just, in my opinion, Art the Clown as a character should have been kind of tightened up at the fifth time on screen. Now, we've got Terrifier 3, and watching the trailer, there's some terrible dialogue, terrible writing, and yes, I know people are claiming this movie is some sort of masterpiece. Hey, I'm all the ready to be proven wrong. Go see Terrifier 3 in theaters on the 10th. I've already, I'm going to get my tickets soon. I'm going to go see it. I'm somewhat excited to see it still, but I just, I have a real hard time people cutting him so much slack and painting these films as like masterpieces and iconic horror villain characters, putting him up with Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees and Leatherface and freaking like Chucky. I mean, I wouldn't even put him up there with the lowest of our classic icons after being on screen six times before he finally gets it right and now we've got a this so this will be the sixth time coming up that he's on screen sixth appearance and it's supposed to be the masterpiece the iconic but we get a trailer with dialogue as bad as that now listen i'm not here to say that you shouldn't like terrifier films or that they're all just garbage or the art the clown is stupid i'm not necessarily trying to just completely hate on it i'm trying to really bring home the point that I don't feel like we should be throwing up these names like icon or legend and putting them up against these horror icons that have been around for years. We've had so many people try and fail to create horror icons. And as I said, props to Damian Leone for pushing Art the Clown to the point that people are putting him up on that platform with all of them, but what does he do that makes him iconic? What is his character? I know people have said that, yeah, he's the one clown that feels like a clown. Cool. But he does a whole lot of this and a whole lot of that. Does a little bit of this. And then he does a little bit of uh, this right here. And some more of this and some more of that. And my point with that is I just don't feel like Damien Leone has actually taken the time to craft a character and some motivation behind Art the Clown. I am, again, willing to be proven wrong. I'm going to go see Terrifier 3. I'm excited to see it 
but it seems like he's just plastering the screen with more and more gore and there's just a man behind the gore and that's his character and we're calling him an icon what does he do that's so iconic what does he do that's so different than so many other legendary iconic horror villains that have come before him what is different about each movie it seems like every movie is just kind of like paint by numbers copy and paste the same concept the same thing with dream sequences and weird stuff thrown in there there's not really any like crazy backstories we don't have any like texas chainsaw twos which love it or hate it you know it's like a shift in a different direction dive more into the side characters dive more into like the backstory what's going on like let's create a trilogy is there is this going to be a trilogy because the sequel didn't even feel like a sequel even though i want to remind everybody the sequel was the fifth film the fifth time and yet we don't really have much of like a backstory or character also as i'm saying all this i'm not trying to say tell me everything explain everything i'm not but i don't feel like damien leone has really taken the time to sit down and write an actual backstory or an actual character he's just kind of created this like clown that doesn't speak la belly laughs and does some crazy stuff and is the man behind the gore that's what he is he kills people for no reason but the thing is like i know that no reason is scary but no reason is scary when you've got a character who acts without rhyme or reason and art the clown sort of is constrained by like real world elements and things like that he's he's held to this sort of laws of the real world you know what i mean like he uses tools he still has like he there's all these things that make him feel like human if that makes any sense there's not really any like driving dark force or any like crazy backstory that's just keeping him motivated or going on like there's no you know possession by into a doll there's no wearing people's skin on your face there's no like revenge after sydney prescott there's no you know something to keep the motivation going forward the evil that hides behind the blank mask of michael myers there's all these classic things that build to what created a horror icon and art the clown is just kind of like a clown who continues to change the way he looks and again kills people in different ways he pops up in a shop and people just kind of ignore him he plays santa and women and children just they just let children get on his lap and it's like okay he's in a mall now and he's covered in blood now he's in a shower killing people like what what about that is iconic all right enough rambling i hope that my point is somewhat made and as i said i'm sure that you completely disagree with a good chunk of what i have said and that's fine i wanted to say it anyway but let me know down below if you somewhat agree or at least understand my point here as i mentioned and have said and will say again and again and again i'm ready to be proven wrong and you know if terrifier 3 is just like a horror masterpiece and it's just like a heck of a good time and a lot of the flaws have been fixed in the film i will be ready and willing to say that i still am not ready to jump on and call him a horror icon but i just want to make the point that like it can be a good film we can support the man we can support art the clown you're gonna enjoy him but let's not jump to the conclusion that this is a horror icon i know we throw that around all the time but really think about that like i think we need to hold people to higher standards for what considers becoming a horror icon and let's stop ignoring just trash dialogue and trash plot development in exchange for more and more gore that promises to make us puke when you know and then throwing like Sistine Chapel like what kind of a tagline is it I know that's marketing sure I know it's marketing but it's a little bit insane that it's called a Sistine Chapel when it's advertised as just basically making us puke that being said again let me know down in the comments what you think and hopefully you understand my point thank you for watching if you watched to the end of this rant about art the clown and i hope that you're having a fantastic october i'm scared on a big bad wolf i never see the silver line and only see the gold i don't speak in caps though everything bold i put that on myself because it's a life that i done chose i said come through you can see me on the west side hey that's funny how they walking with each other